Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura, California, as well as musicians who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. My name's uh, Jerry Smith, um, and I play uh, tenor and alto saxophone. Something people may not know about me is uh, about... In 2014, I was actually di or diagnosed with cubital tunnel. All right, hey everybody. My name is Skybone Stan. I play trombone with the Stoneflies and do a little bit of vocals. Something that people might not know about me, at least not uh, these days, is um, when I was younger, I was really uh, uh, into mountain bike uh, riding. <laughs> My name's TK. Uh, I play the bass. I started out playing banjo. <laughs> you guys don't know that? That's what I played first. My name is Guy Jeans. I'm the vocalist and uh, keyboard player, one of the keyboard players, but I play a guitar. But something that people don't know about me is I'm a professional fisherman and um, a fly fisherman and um, I take people fishing for a living and I own a fly shop, guide service and a fly fishing school. <laughs> My name is Robert Rickelli and um, I play drums. Something people may not know about me is that well, I used to bird watch. <laughs> My name is uh, Philly Landeros. I'm the second keyboard player in the Stoneflies. A uh, thing, uh, thing that these guys don't know about me, but I have three rap solo albums. You got three. We can be found on social media on Instagram uh, at Stoneflies Music, and also on YouTube at Stoneflies Music. And on the internet, on our website, is uh, stoneflyesmusic.com. Our name, the stoneflies, comes from an actual bug, an aquatic insect that's called a stonefly. And coming from the fly fishing world, um, the stonefly is a very important um, aspect of fly fishing. Okay, well, we were founded back in, um, what, let's see, 2011? And we were playing with this other band, and it was very complicated to get that band together. So TK, Guy, and I, we just wanted a real easy project where we could just get together and work on stuff and get things accomplished. What got us into the style of music that we play, I think, is kind of the area that we grew up in, in the, in the beach scene. Um, I personally come from the surf culture, so a lot of my friends and, and I listen to that, that beach, ska kind of a sound. This band gets along well, and uh, you know, part of that is, you know. We're pretty mature guys. We have we've been at this for a long time. We've been in other bands. We've seen the problems when personalities clash. We've been through it, and we know that um, just through the experiences that we've had, we've just learned how to, you know, go beyond that and and maintain the friendship and and just not have the extreme personality things that that go on when you're younger. Really, I mean, we're all diehard musicians. We've been doing this all our lives. We were one, one 
time we were playing in San Felipe, Mexico. Oh, and, oh yeah. And um, we were uh, playing a big spring break um, festival for UCLA, USC, um, all the different colleges are down in San Felipe, out of control. Super fun. And we were playing at this club called Rock and Roll Tox Taco. Rock and Roll Something Taco? Like that, Rock and Roll man. Taco. Huge club, holds like 2,000 people or something crazy, right? And so um, uh, somehow we, there, we were playing with this other singer and I couldn't find the other singer. And um, I, he had um, kind of was liking this other, this cute uh, Hispanic girl back at the hotel. So that was about a half a mile away from the club, but I knew he was there. So I ran to there, got him. There he was talking to that girl. I'm all, dude, we got to get through our show. So he was drunk out of his gourd. And so we came back to the club, Tequila, yeah. And um, we go into the club and there's, I don't know how many people, a thousand people in front of the stage. And we go up on the stage and everybody in the front row is handing tequila shots to the band, <laughs> including the guy who's already drunk. And so, um, of course, he takes a couple more shots and he's out of his gourd. But then, I guess Mexico doesn't have uh, electricity control and the electricity went through all our amps and blew all our amps up and surged all our amps and we got into like maybe a second song here we're going and yeah this. and it blew up my amp it blew up his amp it just blew up everything and the show was over <laughs> thank god thank god the show was yeah, over because we saved our ass, saved our ass. <laughs> i don't think i don't think uh, we would have made it through the whole show My, my musical influences, I, when I was 10 years old, I rode my bike down to Salzer's Music, and I walked into Salzer's Music, and I heard this band playing, and it was Roxanne. And I was just like, who is this? And I was just like blown away by um, the police, and had been influenced by them ever since. So, who are my musical idols? Man, you know, the thing is, I have a lot. And I feel like it's not just famous musicians, but it's a lot of the musicians that I've played with over the years. And so, it, that's a hard question, really, for me to, to answer. I think maybe, though, in terms of playing ska music like we do here, I came up in a time where I would have been really heavily influenced by, like, the specials and the English beat. Um, but it was when I first heard the music of the Scatolites, who are the original Jamaican band, um, that I kind of knew where I fit in the musical world. Right now I have one big musical idol that I've been inspired by for the past like four years. It's, uh, he's an OG though, his name is Mark Knopfler, uh, Dire Straits, one of my favorite guitar players. I, I can't stop listening to his music. I'm a big fan of uh, Michael Brecker. To me, a lot of what creates is when you get in here, you leave everything else outside. So to me, the, the music influence is what we do in a room together because you know, the outside's not important. So that's the way I see it anyway. Rock and roll. 